Good afternoon, everybody. <clears throat> it's Saturday. Man, this has been a good day for me. Um, I was in the woods earlier this morning. I uh, did not get a deer, but I saw some deer. Just wasn't able to get uh, good clean shots on on the one that I wanted. But it, it was a good morning anyway. I'm down here at the shelter, and I need to do some maintenance on a couple of things down here. Need to clean up some lanterns. And I uh, wanted to give a quick shout out before I get started. A friend that I have become acquainted with through uh, Instagram, been supporting me along the way, sent me this lantern some time back. And I wanted to give a shout out to you, Jared, and say thank you. Uh, Jared has been real supportive, along with a couple other people. And uh, I started this YouTube channel, and he gives me shout outs on Instagram and, and uh, just, just showing some support. This lantern is pretty cool. I think he picked it up at Walmart. Um, I'm not sure the price, I don't know. They may be between seven to 14, 15 dollars. But it is a solar lantern and a charger, also. So I'm looking forward to throwing this into my kit and seeing how it works get it charged up you can charge cell phones and, and things and whatnot up with it but i wanted to give a shout out to jared you guys follow him the j dubs piper on instagram can you see that there we go y'all give him a shout he has some cool posts he's into coins and tobacco pipe tobacco he, he'll make some good reviews and uh, he enjoys good cup of coffee and a good smoke on a on a pipe jared thank you brother i want to do something a little different today uh, i want to get a little fire going i don't have much time this afternoon my youngest son he turned five today and we're going to go celebrate his birthday at his favorite place burger king the bk lounge we actually found one that Playground's outside and it's open. So we're going to go there and celebrate his day. So, but I wanted to take, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> what little bit of time I had. Come out here and make a fire, do some maintenance. But I have a fun way I'm going to try to share with y'all on getting a fire started. Right now I'm just doing some of these little bits of shaving off this fat lighter. Piece. and I'm hoping it's been a while since I've started a fire like this in just a few minutes I'm going to attempt it and hopefully it'll work I'm going to get some of this stuff built up right here this stuff is man I love the smell of this this fat lighter these shavings they usually catch a ember or spark pretty good so got my Kephart Condor this is one of my favorite knives it's a good little knife I did a video sometime in the past, talked about it. It's a good little knife to carry. Horse Kephart. If you don't know who he is, I'd highly suggest you do some research and learn about him. Especially if you're into camping and <clears throat> bushcraft and just outdoor skills. So uh, I'm going to keep on doing this for a few more minutes. Try to get this built up. And um, then we'll see if I can get a fire started. I'm going to share a way to uh, start a fire with you. Okay, well, my plan is, hopefully I'll be successful. Sun's kind of getting lower in the horizon. But this is a magnifying lens that I picked up from Self-Reliance Outfitters, Dave Canterbury's store. <clears throat> Man. <clears throat> no, I'm not sick. Just sometimes you get choked because you're so excited, I guess. It's a little double lens here and it will throw a beam so what I'm going to try to do is see if I can get a fire going here I wouldn't suggest this type of method in an emergency situation unless it's the only way but this is um, there's another way to start a fire <clears throat> and it's fun let's see if I can do it all right let's see if I can get this angle catch that oh. 
we go. Got to get. All right, what am I not doing right? I, the, well, there we go. Now I had to move. Let's get to there. Let's get it real. Everything's been kind of damp. We've had a lot of rain this past week. And, uh, everything's just damp. Here in the southeast, everything seems to just stay damp due to... I can't get the angle right. There we go. There's a good angle. There's a bright little spot. I don't know how well this is going to work, though. All right, stand by. What I've run into is trying to hold the camera and find a sunny spot to where I can get some good sunlight due to the angle of the sun lower in the horizon. You like that horizon? Here, I think I found another spot. I'm going to try this area out right here. I wanted to show this to you. I like being able to do these things for the camera. It's pretty cool. This is one I wouldn't suggest it like if you're in an emergency situation and you need a fire pretty quick. This could frustrate you. I'm trying to get everything right because when I hold the camera a certain way and the lens a certain way, it uh, throws a shadow. Let's see if I can do this here. That angle is showing good on the camera. Just, all right. Y'all are probably thinking this guy's nuts. Uh, you're right. So, all right. I'm gonna have to set the camera down. I don't know how to get it braced here. I left my brace, my camera holder, at the house. So I'm gonna maybe stand by again. Okay, I'm going to scratch that plant. I can't even get the napkin to uh, start igniting. Just the angle of the sun. Um, it's better when the sun's higher. You have to get that angle and then uh, get that the angle of the lens and the sunlight just right. Normally it starts smoking within a matter of seconds and I'm getting nothing. So, I'm going to have to drop back and see what else. I've got a little ferro rod with me. I'm going to see if I can maybe... This one has been used and abused. Uh, just a little bit of... Uh, word, words of wisdom. These things do not hold up wet, uh, hold up well in moist environments. See all these pits and stuff on this. Took it hiking a few times, and one time we went there in the summer, and it, I sweat profusely, and it ate it up. But it still works. So just keep that in mind if you carry one of these. Keep it dry. Keep it safe. So, let's see what I can do here. More than likely, I'm just going to have to get out the uh, old flint and steel. Let's see what happens. Probably wouldn't hurt if I, um, you know what I can do? Let's see. Just throwing some spark steel. Oh, look at that. Fire. We have fire. Whoop. Massive fire real fast. <laughs> fire burn quickly. Good to have all your stuff standing by. 
just going to be a little bit of success. Barrel rods are definite in keeping a, a good way of, of getting a fire going. Check this out. Got some flameage. Yes, we have fire. Funny thing about Greenbrier, you hate it and you love it. But when it dries out, this stuff is some of the best. Especially, see it's hanging? Listen at that. Crackles, pops, even sounds like a fire. This is good stuff to put on your fire. You have to be careful because it still has thorns on it. But man, this stuff is a godsend. Listen at that. Hear it? And it's just all over the place. It works in a pinch. And it works even when it ain't pinchy. To uh, get your fire going. Put it on. Gets the smoke and gets the burning. Then you can get larger stuff. And uh, Man, whoo, smoke got me a little bit. Something about getting a good fire going. It really changes the atmosphere at camp. On cleaning these lanterns, the best way that I found to clean these globes is to get you a paper towel and get it moist and then just rub it. And it starts cleaning up. I think <clears throat> these things get smutty when you don't have the wick adjusted properly and it's not burning right. It causes a lot of smut to build up on the globes. This one is real bad. I love these little lanterns. You can get these lanterns online or at Walmart, places like that. I think this lantern, $20.00. Smaller one, and it's less than twenty dollars, ten to fifteen. And they're cool little lanterns to have. They work. They put out some good light. Um, it's just neat the ambience it creates when you have your or ambiance that it creates when you have um, lanterns going for light. So I'm going to finish cleaning this up, <clears throat> and uh, I need a drink here. Ah. Uh, clear my throat um get the lanterns cleaned up that was my plan today got a little fire going and in a little while we're going to be celebrating my youngest son's birthday he's five years old happy birthday silas i know you've been excited can't believe man my youngest child's five years old time's flying by thought i'd do a quick before shot smut 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 and then i'm going to clean it up and uh, do an after shot and there you have it Bing. now we'll have some brighter light get your fingers all smutty probably should have had some gloves on but don't hard to get your hands dirty it's just a matter of checking out the wicks and wiping the cobwebs off. And fuel goes in here. Spiders love to get into everything. Spiders, spiders, spiders. And this looked like, I believe that's what they call those. Uh, what do they call these things? Not assassin bugs. He's dead. But they get in the play. They can put a nasty little bite on you if they get on you. They usually don't seek you out, but they they can put a little bite on you. So I'm going to clean this up and put them back together and see about getting them lit. And presto. Liner in this clean. Maintenance done on that one. I'll need to take this one a little bit and, uh-oh, 
Bring out the tappers off. Spill a little bit of oil. Just wipe it down a little bit. It'll be clean. All right. Just refuel the lanterns. Stoke the fire a little bit. It is uh, getting later on in the afternoon. I am enjoying this afternoon. It is uh, nice weather to be out and about here down at this shelter and in the woods. I love this time of year. I love it. I love cooler weather. Um, the hot weather we get, it's okay for a little while, especially if I'm at the beach or at a pool. If I can go somewhere, get in the shade and drink a cold beverage and um, maybe have a fan blowing on me, I like it. But I get tired of it after some time. But this weather here, man, this is beautiful weather. Let's look at the temperature. It is right at 60 degrees. Humidity is, <clears throat> humidity's not bad. So don't feel as damp. Check this fire out. Get you a ferro rod. Ferro I believe is how it's pronounced. And a good knife. Remember on your knife, you want a good back on it. Look how nasty. Camp life, huh? Um, that spine of that knife needs to have a good 90 degree edge. And you could throw some sparks. You can shave wood with it. Kindling with it. Fat lighter. Well, I always call it kindling. Kindling, fat lighter. Uh, heartwood. Fat wood. Check out these lanterns. Clean. Now I'm ready to hang out down here at night. Get the wood burning stove going. Cook something. Got some good things going on. Oh. Got one more lantern to clean. This one's a little... It, the globe's not dirty, but cobwebby so i need to wipe that down all right guys hope everyone is having a wonderful weekend i know i'm enjoying mine look at that it's peaceful down here and um just some good times hoping tomorrow we'll get back in the deer stand and uh i'm looking forward to getting a deer i'm ready for some fresh deer meat so, hope everybody is safe and enjoy the rest of your weekend. And hopefully uh, get some more videos out. I want to say thank you once again for everybody who's following along. Have any comments, always feel free to comment. Ask questions or if I am misinformed on something, hey, let me know. Appreciate you guys. Y'all take care.